Electric vehicles are the future, and the rapid improvement in technology is just another example of that. It wasn't that long ago when EVs were considered ridiculous because their range was so low. But now, all of those criticisms are slowly being silenced by performance. More recently, a new battery tech has dramatically increased the max driving range that EVs are capable of. First, what's this new battery tech? The main problem with EVs has always been the range. Companies simply can't figure out how to get lithium-ion batteries to perform any better than what they already are. It's almost like the technology has peaked, but where companies fail to make any progress, universities step in. Scientists at the University of Michigan have been working on new ways to improve lithium batteries for years now, and in 2022, they might have found the solution. They have created a lithium sulfur battery instead of a lithium ion battery. These batteries have the potential to increase the range of an EV by up to five times. So instead of the Model S Plaid getting 752 miles of range, it would get over 3,700 miles. However, there's one problem with that, recharge cycles. The average Tesla battery is required to get over 1,000 recharges before it's completely degraded. However, the sulfur battery degrades after only 10 recharges. For the most part, this would be enough to completely nix the idea. No one wants to change their batteries every month, do they? Well, they might not have to. So how would something like this ever work? Well, you see, lithium sulfur batteries can get more charging cycles. Some reports suggest up to a few hundred recharges, while others suggest that they might be able to get as many recharges as a lithium-ion battery. However, there will need to be a compromise in one way or another. Whether it's capacity, portability, durability, or even safety, something is going to be compromised. Now, of course, they can't compromise on the safety of the battery, since that would make the cars too dangerous to drive. They can't compromise on the capacity, because why would anyone want to switch over to sulfur then? So the only compromises they can make would be in either portability or durability. It's possible that future EVs are heavier and bulkier and in turn slower as a compromise. But it's important to understand that this technology is still a work in progress. During the early days of lithium ion, we saw all of the same problems emerge. It's widely believed that as lithium sulfur batteries are further developed, we won't even have to compromise. They'll just get better, more efficient, and most importantly, they'll give us the range we've always dreamed of. Now, when can we expect a battery like this to become common. There's no clear timeline on when the lithium sulfur battery will be perfected, but Professor Nicholas Kotov, the man who is leading this whole research project, believes it's close. His team has already developed a membrane shell that will prevent the battery from degrading prematurely. On top of that, you can bet your last dollar that there are some big bucks behind this research. This is a time when practically every major car company in the world is competing with each other in the EV race. It's not just Tesla, but also Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Audi, Toyota, Nissan, Ford, Chevrolet, and everyone else. They all want to come up with a way to be better than their competitors. And there's no better way to do so than to add more range than anyone else in the market. This is why as soon as the prototype battery is developed, one of these companies is going to jump at the opportunity to use it. Whether or not it's going to be a success is anyone's guess. So there's no clear timeline, but as things are going right now, it seems like it should be done by the middle of 2023. This means we might see it be used in EV as early as 2024 or 2025, that is unless another alternative emerges. What are the potential alternatives? The EV industry is cutthroat right now. Everyone is trying to come up with a solution to the range problem, but at the same time, no one wants to take that big of a risk. Going for an entirely new battery type can be incredibly risky, but trying to further improve lithium-ion batteries might not be. I know we've said lithium-ion batteries have sort of peaked, and that's still true for the most part, but these batteries can still be slightly improve for companies to get the edge over their competitors. For example, structural component batteries would be batteries that are part of the integral structure of the car, instead of another replaceable part. Carbon fiber would be used as a negative electrode and lithium ion phosphate would be used as the positive. This would reduce the overall weight of the car and radically improve the efficiency of the battery, which would be specifically designed for each car. However, there are serious concerns with durability in this approach. But range is in everything. There's another battery in a innovation that might completely revolutionize EVs as we know them. Up next, what's this new revolutionary battery innovation? Now, we've mentioned time and time again that range has always been the one thing that holds back EVs from completely taking over the automotive space. But range is less of an issue right now. The real issue is the charging time. Nothing beats the convenience
convenience of filling up a gas tank in less than a few minutes and being out and about on your day. This is an experience that EVs simply couldn't match until now. A company called Nawa Technologies is well on its way to developing something called carbon nanotube electrodes. This is a technology that uses a carbon nanotube that is vertically aligned. Just like you, we have no idea what that means. But thankfully, they summarized it for us. Apparently, this technology can improve energy storage by three times, battery power by 10 times, and life cycle by five times. Long story short, that means you can get more range and have your car be 80% charged in less than five minutes. Nawa expects this technology to hit the public in 2023. The only downside is that this is going to have to be licensed by automakers, and that might drive up the cost significantly. But almost every company is definitely going to incorporate this technology into their vehicles. That's almost a given. Now, let's take a look at some other news. First, we have GM's new revolutionary way to charge EVs. Finding a spot at the charging station is a problem that has plagued EV drivers from the very beginning. But now, GM has come up with an insane solution. Instead of only being able to charge one car from a fast charger, you can now charge two. Basically, these charging stations have two ports, each instead of one, which is an idea so simple that we can't believe other automakers didn't think of it first. Expect almost every company to soon adopt this idea as well. Up next, Tesla's sales target looks positive. Tesla is the global leader when it comes to selling EVs. When Tesla is up, it's a good indication that the entire industry is up. But in recent months, Tesla's stock price has been in the midst of a slump, and some are even saying that it indicates a downfall for the company. Well, Tesla clearly disagrees. Instead of panicking because of the low stock price, Tesla just announced that they're aiming for 50,000 EVs sold in the fiscal year. That's more than twice that of last year, when Tesla still smashed all targets. This could be an indication that Tesla does not plan on slowing down anytime soon. Next, we have Tesla's insane new pothole detection system. As advanced as Tesla vehicles or any other EV for that matter are, there's one thing that they could never do, detect potholes. Who wants to go over a pothole and potentially damage your suspension, brakes, or tires? No one. That's why Tesla recently came out with their new pothole detection system in a software update. Now, Tesla vehicles will see a pothole coming from miles away, and they'll also send that data over to the cloud so other vehicles can know about it. Whenever a Tesla vehicle is going over that pothole, it'll automatically adjust its suspension so that minimum damage is being done to the car in case the pothole is unavoidable. It's a pretty unique feature that we can't wait for other companies to adopt. And finally, EV sales boom in India. India has always been a late market when it comes to EVs, but now EVs are booming there. In the past six months, automakers have sold over 25,000 EVs in the city of Delhi alone, which is only India's second largest city. Nationwide sales aren't reported, but it's believed that hundreds of thousands of electric cars might have been sold all over India during the same time period. In comparison, 25,000 EVs were sold in Delhi for the full year of 2021. India might just be the next China when it comes to EVs. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think is the next step in improving EVs? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.